London Fashion Week has banned real fur from its shows starting next Friday. The British Fashion Council said it was bringing in the change following a survey of all the designers taking part. It is thought to be the first main fashion week to go for free. It said the results reflect a cultural change based on ideals and choices by designers, big brands, and consumers. Share this article, share Paloma Faye, a longtime anti for campaigner, welcomed the news last night. The singer tweeted, I am so overwhelmed and elated that fur has been banned from London Fashion Week. Progress Burberry has announced it will not use real fur in future. The British brand said there would be none in its collection presented in London, adding that it will phase out existing fur products. Peta also tweeted welcoming the news, saying, breaking victory. After over a decade of campaigning by PETA around the world, at Burberry is banning fur and Angora. Burberry's decision is a sign of the times, no animal deserves to be caged and electrocuted or bludgeoned to death for their fur. PETA added on their website, cartwheels are happening at PETA HQ following the announcement that iconic British brand Burberry is joining Armani. Versace, Gucci, Vivienne Westwood, Stella McCartney, and others in banning for from all its collections, and that it's ditching Angora too. Burberry's showcase on September 17 will be the debut collection for the brand's new chief creative officer, ex Givenchy designer Ricardo Tissi. I don't think it is compatible with modern luxury and with the environment, said Chief Executive Marco Gabetti. The use of real fur by Burberry had been restricted to rabbit, fox, mink, and Asiatic raccoon. These and Angora will be banned in future, 